Hi guys, welcome to my new Cinema 4D video. In this video, I am gonna show how to modeling this cartoon TV with Cinema 4D. Let's get started. So first step, go to here and let's create new cube. Then go to here, select subdivision surface and select this cube. Let's move to inside this subdivision surface and go to click this icon and select this icon go to display let's enable for shading lines when we select this icon right mouse select loop path cut then let's add one here one here and here and here nice then click this icon points and go to here, select Rangel tool. And let's select these points. Move to left. Okay. And select these points, move to left. Okay, this is not bad. Then click this icon and select move tool for exit effect. Okay, not bad. Then go to again objects and select this cube. Let's move to here, change scale. Again, change scale. Select this and hold, move to left for change scale like this. Then move to here, move to right. Let's change like this. Change scale. Okay, this is not bad. Then go to again here, select subdivision surface and select this cube, move to inside this subdivision surface. And select this icon, select this, right mouse, loop path cut, and let's add one here, one here. Okay and click this icon, click move tool. Okay, not bad. Let's select this subdivision, move to here and go to again, select this icon and select this cube, right mouse, loop path cut and let's add one here and one here. Okay, not bad. Click this icon, click scale tool and let's scale, click move tool and Move to back. Nice. Then select this subdivision surface and hold control, move to left for duplicate. Let's open subdivision surface inside, select this cube and go to select these points. Go to select rental selection and let's select these points, move to right and these points, move to left, these points move to up and these points move to down and these points move to up okay not bad then click move tool and select this icon let's select this areas like this and move to right okay then click this icon and select the subdivision surface 2 go to here change subdivision editor 3 or 4 nice and move to back okay not bad i like it so in this time go to object select this cylinder let's move to here change scale go to rotate tool Select this red line, hold shift, change rotation 90 and click move tool, move to here, move to back and click scale tool, change scale, okay, let's move to here. Okay, not bad. 
then select the cylinder, go to cups and click fillet for smooth and change segments like this, change radius like this, okay and go to here, let's select this new cube again change size and move to here okay change scale again move to here okay not bad let's go to click this icon move to here and select this, this icon, right mouse, loop pad cut, let's add one here, one here, and here, and here. Click this icon, click move tool, and go to again here, select subdivision surface, select this cube, move to inside subdivision surface, and move to inside this cylinder. Okay, not bad. Then select this subdivision surface and cylinder, hold control, move to down for duplicate and let's click rotate tool, change rotation, ok, click move tool and move to here, ok nice. Then select this subdivision surface. Hold Ctrl, move to down for duplicate and open inside, select this cube. Let's change scale like this. Click move tool and move to inside this TV. Ok, not bad. Let's select rotation, change rotate. And select this subdivision surface, let's close and hold control move to down for duplicate again hold control move to down and again okay nice and let's change this scale open cube change scale like this click move tool and select the subdivision surface move to here Let's hold control, move to down again. Okay, not bad. Let's select these two subdivisions, move to down and select this, this and this, move to up. And select these two subdivisions, move to here. Okay, not bad. So, in this time, select this subdivision, hold control, move to left for duplicate and select rotation tool, select this red line, hold shift, change rotation and click move tool, move to here, move to up, ok, and select this subdivision, change subdivision editor to, ok, and let's open here, select this cube, go to points, go to wrenchel tool, let's change wrenchels like this, select these points, move to left, and select this, move to here, and this, move to right, ok, not bad. Click move tool and click this icon. Okay, nice. Then go to objects, select this cube. Let's move to here, change scale. Like this. Press S for zoom object. And go to click this icon, select these points. Go to wrenchel selection. And let's select these points. 
and click scale change scale like this nice and click this icon go to move tool right mouse loop path cut add one here one here and here and here click selection tool and this icon go to here select subdivision surface and select this cube moved inside this subdivision nice then let's click this icon and go to right preview let's move to here let's back to perspective move to right okay select this rotate tool change rotation and move to up okay select this subdivision surface hold control move to right for duplicate and select this two subdivision surface hold control move to back for duplicate then click rotation tool change rotations select move tool and move to back let's change rotations like this okay and move to left nice so in this time let's go to this icon pin and select this pin click this icon and go to front let's make line let's like this okay let's click ask for done click selection tool nice then again go to pen tool select this pen and let's make one pen like this and click ask go to select this icon and click move tool okay nice and let's back to this icon with perspective move to here and go to here again select this circle and go to this icon select this sweep select these lines splines and circle move to inside this sweep and select this circle change radius okay nice let's go to display select grounded shading okay let's change like this nice and let's select this spline go to select this icon go to display grounding shading and select this go to wrench tool select this point or this and right mouse let's select this chamfer and let chamfer like this okay and select this selection tool select this point and again right mouse select chamfer and let chamfer like this okay not bad let's click this icon selection select this let's back to other view front and we can see here this point let's select this and right mouse again chamfer and chamfer like this good let's click move tool and click this icon click here and go to perspective 
and go to objects and let's create Sphera. Move to up, change scale. And click move tool. Move to here. Okay, move to up. Okay, not bad. Select this sphere. Let's hold control, move to left for duplicate. And move to here. Okay, good. So let's add material for this object. Go to here, let's double click and for create new material. Let's change first material red. Let's open material, select this red. Okay, let's use for this object and hold control move to right for duplicate open this material select color blue and use for this object and hold control move to right for duplicate let's open again select this color yellow and let's use here nice go to here display select grading shading and let's use this red material here okay and here nice and let's hold control select this move to right for duplicate let's open and change color to dark yellow and use for these buttons Okay, let's use this object and this. For these cubes, let's use this yellow. Okay, nice. Then again, select this material, hold control, move to right for duplicate. Let's open and select black color. Okay, let's use nice. So not bad, I like it. So thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.